So for the given circuit, we need to find the voltage drop Vx across 1 ohms resistance and power dissipated by this 12 ohms resistance. So we can see that there is a current source here. And first we need to find, in order to find Vx, we need to find the current through the 1 ohms, uh, 1 ohms resistance, this one. So let's do that. We have to find equivalent resistance. So let's keep this one like that, 1 ohms. Now these two are in parallel. So in order uh, that becomes the parallel of 12 and 8 becomes 12 times 8, 96 over 12 plus 8, 20. So that is 4.8. So we will write that this is 3 ohms, this is 6 ohms, this is 4 ohms, like that, and 1.2 here, and 4.8 here, 4.8 ohms. So what I will do, I will erase this again, re instead of again redrawing, instead of redrawing the whole uh, part, I will erase parts of it and do it, so that probably will be better. So. Now these two, 1.2 ohms and 4.8 ohms, these two are coming in series so we can replace it with just one resistance. That will be 6 ohms, 1.2 plus 4.8 is 6 ohms. So that's there, 6, sorry, 6 ohms. And here these 6 ohms is coming in parallel with this part. So we can see that there is a 3 ohms, there is a 6 ohms, these two are in parallel. So the parallel combination will be 3 times 6 over 3 plus 6, so 18 over 9, so that's 2. So we will replace this one with a 2 ohms resistance. So that's a 2 ohms resistance. Now there's a 4 ohms and 2 ohms, these two are in series, so we can replace these two by 1 resistance, that will be 6 ohms. So 6 ohms here. Now this 2 6 ohms, this one looking weird, so these 2 6 ohms are in parallel. So 6 6 in parallel, the uh, equivalent uh, resistance will be 3 ohms, 6 times 6 over, this will be just half because they are of equal value. So it will be 3. So we will have uh, maybe at Okay, so what I will do, I will reduce this one as well. So that will be 3 ohms. So now we know that this current that is coming from here, 20 amps, is getting splitted between two parallel branches, 2 ohms and 4 ohms. So our Vx will be the current through this branch, that is the 4 ohms resistance branch, uh, times the resistance value. So that will be 20 divided by, first time applying current divider rule, so 20 divided by 4 plus 2 times 2, that is giving me the current and then times 1 will give me the voltage. So that will become 6.67 volts. So now we know what is the current through the uh, 1 ohms resistance so that's 6.67 so from here on we need to we need to find the current through now we need to find the current through this resistance because we need to find the power dissipated by it so what we can do here we knew that if we go back um, if we redraw this part this say uh, there is the 2 ohms and there is this 1 ohms resistance which after that we have a 6 ohm ohms branch and then we have another we had another 6 ohm ohms branch so this is 1 ohms and 6 ohms so what happens is this current which is 6.67 is getting divided between these two branches and that will be half because these two are of these two resistances are of same value so this current will be 3.33 amps so that is the current that is going here 3.33 amps
3.33 amps this is the current here now this current will be divided getting divided between these two branches that will be split it basically so we need to find the current through uh, 12 ohms resistance so i12 if we call that will be 3.33 divided by 12 plus 8 times 8 and that is 1.332 amps now we need to find the power dissipated by 12 ohms resistance the the current through 12 ohm resistance is this one so power dissipated will be i square r so 1.332 square times 12 so that's 21.3 i believe uh, 21.3 watts so that's the power dissipated